This is Serpel, an SEO tool with a couple of nice SEO modules, but my favorite is their SEO competitor AI module. By using keywords and Serpel's AI, Serpel will show all of your SEO competitors, and this is a lot faster than doing it manually. So let's dive into it. There are primarily two ways of doing this SEO competitor research. Either you can do it manually or you can use a tool like Serval AI. And before I dive into these two methods, I just want to highlight why it's so important you do an SEO competitive analysis. Have you ever been in doubt of what to write about, what keyword to target, or simply just ran out of keywords to target? This is where a competitor analysis is simply perfect for you. Because when you have a list of your competitors, you can easily see what they are ranking for that you are not ranking for. And then you can start to target those keywords and those search phrases. And that's why you should always have your competitors in a list, both for this purpose, but also so you can compare your own content to your competitors. Because also with this list of your SEO competitors, you can compare yourself to your competitors on multiple parameters and always ensure that you stay ahead. And as soon as your competitors are trying new things, you will see this because their score in whatever tool you're using, in this case, Serpel, will change and then you can start to learn from that. But the first method of doing a competitive analysis within SEO is the manual method. And to do this is fairly simple, but it's very time consuming. What you'll start by doing is making a list of your main keywords, the keywords that really describe your website. And then you'll simply enter them into Google and then see what other types of websites are ranking for these keywords. And slowly you will find domains and websites ranking for multiple keywords that you are also ranking for. And the more times a specific domain is represented on a specific keyword that you are also represented off, the closer of a competitor this specific domain is. And then you'll slowly build out your list. But as mentioned, this is very time consuming. The other way is using a tool like Serval. With Serval, it's super simple because when you set up your project or your domain, you enter all of these keywords that you are focused on and you can enter as many as your plan allows. And the more keywords you enter, the more precise and the more specific your SEO competitor analysis will be in the end. And when you've entered all of these keywords and you run the SEO competitor AI module within Serval, Serval will now basically do what you did manually before. They will go into Google, search all of these keywords, and then they will crawl all of the results and then put them into a list. And the more times a specific domain is represented on a specific keyword, the closer of a competitor it will be to you. And you can also in Serval see how many times a specific domain is represented on a specific keyword. So again, the more time it's represented on the keywords you're focused on, the closer of a competitor it is. And with this long list of competitors, they also get a serval score. The higher the serval score, the better they are performing. And you are also getting a serval score as well. And this serval score is based on a lot of different conditions and a lot of different parameters. And of course, you just need to have the highest score between all of your competitors. But the other thing is also that the competitor with the highest score is most likely the competitor you should be inspired by, but it's not the competitor you should compare yourself to. You should find those competitors who are just above you in the score and just below you in the score. And those are the competitors you need to look at and see what they're doing because that's the competitors you need to beat first. You can't beat the best scoring competitor, at least not yet, unless you have a very well-performing website. But Serval can help you take this even further because now you have a long list of all your competitors. And again, now there are two ways to go because now we want to find out all of the keywords that your competitors are focused on and that they are ranking for that you are not ranking for. So there are two ways of doing this. Either there is the manual way where you go to Google, you type site, colon, and then the domain, and then you will see all of the pages ranking on Google for the specific domain. This is not super precise as you can't see what keyword they are focused on, Often it's very obvious to see, but it can be a little tedious process. And the other method is using a tool like Serpel, because Serpel has recently released a keyword research tool. And within this keyword research tool, you can simply enter a domain and then 
Serval will show all of the keywords at least that Serval know that this specific domain is ranking for. And then you'll have a long list of keywords that you can focus on because you know what keywords you are ranking for and you know what keywords you're not ranking for. So I think the next step for Serval in this specific module would be to show some keyword gaps. What are some keywords your competitors are ranking for that you are not ranking for and then order them by the lowest competitive score because that's the keywords you want to target the first. This is not possible right now, so this you'll have to do manually. And to do this manually, you can simply just Google the specific search phrase and then see what type of websites are ranking for this. If the domains that are ranking for this keyword have a very high domain ranking, then you don't want to focus on that keyword. And that's the way you can see it. You can always take all of the domains and then look them up in a tool like Ahrefs has. It's completely free. And then you get an idea of how powerful all of these domains are. I will link the URL to the href tool in the description down below. Now, as I mentioned, the keyword research tool is still in beta and it's a fairly new module because overall it does deliver some results, but I'm really missing some filter options and some options to sort the different results and compare the score on the specific keywords. How difficult is it to rank on these keywords? And then a way to simply exclude words, because if I take a website like monday.com, I want to be able to exclude all of the keywords containing Monday because that's not relevant for me unless it's Monday alternatives or something like that. So it's great to see a keyword research tool because it adds to the value of Serval and it is still in beta. So that's why we're not seeing this extra type of functionality, but we really need it to be able to take full advantage of the keyword research tool by Serval. But with the keyword research tool, you also have keyword clusters. And this is basically folders where you can connect keywords together. Right now you can't filter them out and remove duplicates. This is a feature I would really like to see, but you can still cluster them in different clusters. So you have all of your keywords in order in these types of folders, as you can say. But those are my favorite core modules. They do also have a keyword ranking module, which is super basic. It is basically like Google Search Console but they do also show you the SERP features and whether you have won any of the SERP features or not. A SERP feature could be a featured snippet or an image, but Serval is a super impressive SEO tool based on the pricing, which I will mention just in a moment, and the functionality you get. They're nowhere near Ahrefs or SEMrush, and this also is reflected in the pricing because you can get started using Serval for simply a dollar per month. And this is one of the cheapest SEO tools I've seen and it really reflects all of the functionality you get. And then you can upgrade all the way up to 69 US dollars. So Serval is a great way to do this process automatically because the manual process is still possible for you to do if you don't have a budget at all, but it's very time consuming. For the future of Serval, then they're adding a Google Search Console integrations, which is very needed because it's not there right now. And Google Search Console has everything to do with SEO. And then they're adding a page audit and score module as well. So this is basically a way of scanning your website or specific pages and then get some actionable tasks to do in order to improve these pages. This can be anything from using the right headings, using the right schema or something completely third. But Serval is perfect for anyone getting started that doesn't have a budget for the more pricey tools like Ahrefs or SEMrush because you can get started for $1 and you really get a lot of functionality. While I'm excited for Serval, then they still have a long way to go. So at the current state, I want to give them three and a half stars. They have just released the keyword research tool and I'm hoping to see a lot of extra functionality surrounding that module. And then I hope to see a keyword gap module and a backlink monitoring module as well. So we get the full package with Serval and that will most likely make the price increase, but that makes sense because we get a lot of extra functionality. But talking about SEO, if you want to optimize your content already right now, then you can watch my review of Dookie right up here. Thank you for watching. See you on the next one.